Greetings to all our wonderful viewers out there. I'm Melinda Akinlami. It's great to have you join us on this week's edition of Art House. Today we'll be spreading some Christmas cheer by showing you two exhibitions, one by a group and another by a solo artist. Get details in a moment. Do stay with us. Women should not be suppressed because they are women because they have children. Literature has to be combative. Diversiform is an exhibition by a group of 10 young artists who are displaying their unique styles while giving the audience diversity at a gallery in Lagos. Diversiform is the way this exhibition has been labelled, a show of 10 hands to watch in the visual art space future at the Art Hub in Lagos. The curator, Moses Oyomahai, is obviously proud. Contemporary artists who are daring to be different with their styles and techniques, they bring the shock factor to the hall. An exhibition of um, paintings and mixed media in Atop, Ebutemeta, Lagos. Um, it's an exhibition of um, 10 group of artists. We have painters and mixed media artists. So we are exhibiting different works of art from different ideas. And the 10 artists are from different schools in Nigeria. We have artists from University of Nigeria, Onsuka, Yabatek, Lagos. We have artists from um, OAU, IFE and um, also from Uniben. So we want artists to bring ideas from their own diverse ideas like we don't want it to be like, okay, we are all exhibiting realistic paintings or we are all exhibiting abstract paintings or we are all exhibiting um, impression. So we want to see different, different ideas, different techniques. Because here we have, um, we have impressionism paintings, we have abstract, we have um, mixed media, we have drawings as well. So we don't want to just cage ourselves into just one particular aspect of painting. So that's why we name it Diversiform. Let's hear more about the artist and the message. Actually, I'm exhibiting um, three works here today. So I have one of them there at my back. It is titled The Procreation Joy. The idea is just um, the joy that the grandmothers sees when they see their own grandchildren. Like Yoruba people will say, Omo ni ojuwo, ere ni omomo. Like your child is your own, like is your money. So your grandchild are your gain. So I try to, do, to depict a grandmother when they see their grandchildren, how joyous they become. Like that joy that comes from them, like, okay, I have my child and my child is also having children now. So the joy that comes out from 
that. So that's, that's what I'm trying to depict in that painting titled The Procreation Joy. The collection I brought here today is about my childhood and the things I think we should go back to. Um, the first one is titled The Child's Fate and then Street Love. Then this one behind me is The Green Heart. Now these three works have something in common, which is, which is what we, we've forgotten. Faith, um, goals, and um, hard work. The Green Heart is about having a goal, having, being able to um, um, think of what you want to be in future. The works I'm showing in this exhibition um, being the diverse form to uh, our works from my past experiences from last year, the self-portrait series. So, and um, two works, which is the one behind me here um, and the one behind me here, just to add to such experiences is the pledge and uh, the untainted. Being an artist, I believe that every, everything that I capture should have an in-depth um, or hidden meanings or hidden reasons why such countenances is being portrayed. So um, when I capture faces, I try to put them on uh, news points. Looking at the one behind me that is tied to the pledge, I'm trying to use it to talk about my, my verdict on issues of life, that no matter how um, the situations around you, you should still look sternly into the world and let people see only your, your strength. The title of my work is Houses on the Rock. The medium I used for this piece is oil and on canvas, in which I use in depicting this beautiful piece. So I try portraying, you know, you know trying to talk about nature, you know, to enjoy the nature in different perspective or view in which we see. To me, my stay in Jaws was quite very interesting to me. You know, tend to get a lot of different ideas, enjoy the environment, the weather, cool, and on compared to that of um, Lagos, they have this cold, saucy weather, it's haze around and everything. So I tend to enjoy the place more. So I intend, when coming back to Lagos, I intend doing a piece that whenever I see, I tend to have that memory, that flashback of how Jaws City looks like and the beautiful landscape in which they portray. In the year 2020, they hope to take the art world by storm and cause viewers to stop and take notice. We've been on this since last year. Last year we had the first um, exhibition, which is I from one at a mall house in Koyi, Lagos. But now we're having the second one. We want to make it an annual exhibition, which will be showcasing different talents from different schools with different ideas. So at least we can make people know what we are made of from each of our schools, our ideas, how we can put out what, what we've learned in school and what we've come out to practice at that end. So that's just the basic idea. There will definitely be more fit to fill the shoes of the veterans who have already made a name for themselves. More young minds need to be inspired to display their creativity. I want to say that the artists have really done a very good job, honestly speaking. Because um, I, could, I could understand better their works when we're having a preview with them. I saw how they, they were able to express their works in details, and which was relating to environmental, to family, to motherhood, to emotions, expressions, and they can relate it, be able to relate their colors, their paintings, to this kind of environment, which if any person wants to buy, from that uh, explanation, they, they can be able to um, accept their work and buy their works. To be frank, in the past there was nothing like uh, art uh, artists at all. People never appreciated it. But with the you know growth of uh, 
uh, more education in the society. Children are coming up, going to the university to learn art. A lot of people are interested in art. It's very decorative in every aspect of uh, uh, public life, in the office, in the uh, at homes, and so many places like that. So really make sure that uh, life is uh, really working, what work. Other young hands are on our social media platforms as well. And these are the works of art that made the cut for this week. Let's begin with Royal Diadem's artwork called Superwoman. Here he captures the wife of the Vice President, Mrs. Dolapo Shibajo, with pencil on glossy cardboard. Then prayer is a gouache on chipboard work done by Tunde. This oil on canvas portrait painting is done by Columbus. He calls it Mama Africa, don't worry. Unduka has the flutist as a watercolor on paperwork. Another watercolor work is done by David. He calls this one the Emir's God. The making of beauty is Dele's oil on canvas work. Finally, this charcoal and graphite on pencil paperwork is a series Julius calls In Search of Peace One. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We do encourage you to keep them coming. And don't forget, put the relevant information beside that image. Let's take a moment now. When Art House returns, we have a solo show that will really inspire you. You won't want to miss that one. Coming up in a moment.